So let's talk about pronoun interpretation with respect to what the word one in English, in particular in this kind of context. I see a kitty and I say, oh look, a pretty kitty. And then I turn and see something else and say, look, there's another one. Okay, another what? Let's say there are two options. Is it another pretty kitty or another kitty? Now, importantly, we know it's not another wombat. It's, it's certainly a kitty, right? But how are we making that interpretation, whether we think it's another pretty kitty or just another kitty? Well, let's look at the another pretty kitty interpretation, right? Where another one means another pretty kitty. And the idea is that one, like any pronoun, is going to look for something of the same syntactic category to be its antecedent, to be the thing, the phrase, the string uh, that it, it refers to, right? Okay, so what, great, what syntactic category is pretty kitty exactly? Well, it seems to be bigger than a plain noun because kitty is, is a noun, but pretty is like this additional adjective, so it's definitely bigger than a plain noun. It seems to actually be smaller than a full noun phrase because a full noun phrase like will like the pretty kitty will include the word the, right? So we can't say another the pretty kitty. That's terrible, right? Can, so pretty kitty is somehow smaller than a full noun phrase, right? Something in between. And so syntacticians once upon a time uh, gave this the title noun bar, or noun, which is indicated with a noun prime, right? So noun prime, noun bar. This includes strings both that have just nouns in them as well as nouns and modifiers, like pretty is a modifier for kitty, so pretty kitty is a noun bar. And notably, uh, just plain nouns are also lumped into this category. So kitty is also itself a noun bar in addition to being a noun. That's why you see that structure there. So that's why the argument would go we can interpret one both as kitty, noun bar kitty, and also noun bar pretty kitty.